Hey friend, this is the remote equipment Alpha 31. This is a serious backpack. Okay, a roll top with lots of access to the main compartment, epic water bottle compartments, as well as a righteous back panel and straps. It's basically one of the most intense bags for doing everything. And I just got back from traveling with it. Let me tell you about it. The first point I need to make here is it is extremely burly. Okay, definitely notice the ruggedness of this. Also, the sort of stiffness of the zippers at this point. I am ratcheting and crunching around this when I'm getting in, for example, to get my Bluetooth headphones. And that's also because I've got it quite tightly packed and I feel confident like just gripping and ripping. This is brilliant. This little thing is brilliant. I also find myself grabbing it from here. It's using Challenge Sailcloth EPX 600 fabric, which is a 600D polyester with tight weave for superior abrasion resistance. It's also using Dimension Polyance X-Pack, YKK AquaGuard zippers, YKK Racket Coil zippers. This thing is made from some seriously high quality materials. You can throw it into everything. You can have water pouring down on this. Water sealed zips here, not here, but you have a huge lip right there, but you do have water sealed zip here on the quick access pocket. So as far as like, can it handle the elements? Can it handle your dust and dirt? Can it handle the mountains and the rivers and the lakes? Can, it, can you do outdoorsy shit with this? I submit that you can. Second thing here is holy harness, Batman. You are gonna notice putting this thing on. Big chunk of padding right here, an open area, and big chunk of padding right here. The hip straps work really well to put that weight right here on my hips because this is all sturdy, straight up and down. So all that weight from here is coming right down here and the shoulder straps are just kind of organizing it. Really, really rigid, sturdy straps. These are some of the most rigid yet soft enough straps that I know because they actually have a solid, uh, maybe almost half inch of of padding here. This back panel is pretty masterful. I have my laptop up against here, quite stiff zipper here as well, but I have loved the thickness and the density of these straps, and then these padded areas here with lots of breathability in between. This thing is super heavy right now. I've got it packed out a bunch and really compacted down, but the way that it carries, you feel those two blocks and a little bit of the gap between them, right? It just feels like, it feels really solid and sturdy on you. It's not one of those like, oh, let me just caress your love handles. This is like, yeah, we are ready for the journey. Now, this thing is expandable and techie. The techie part of this, how to think of this. I think of these as these big tenderloin pockets right here. I am just throwing a bunch of stuff in this, but you've got two, and this is kind of like the stuff that I tend to use, the stuff that I might need, don't need all the time. And it's, you know, it's sort of unorganized in a way, but it's also working super good. They zip down, one of the things you wanna do is get used to zipping that halfway. Because if you go all the way and you have a bunch of stuff thrown in there, it is going to kind of fall out. I have a credit card down here that I do not, I noticed it fell out a few times. So when you are doing this, by the way, I don't have a big pouch in here. I just threw everything in here. Same with this side over here, which by the way, was just a bunch of snacks. On this side is just all my tech pouch stuff. Cause I was carrying this with my laptop, with my camera. I'm a modern fucking person who works with a laptop. I am a, also a filmmaker, so I bring a camera. Quick access pocket up here, which when the bag is packed out can get very tight. AirPods, a business card from a world-class bag designer that I met up there. Now, if it wasn't for this pocket right here, which is your laptop 
pocket, okay? I've got, I kept my laptop and my tablet right in here with some solid protection on the back of this, which your back is up against, really nice solid protection. On the bottom of it, some solid protection as well. However, on the front of the laptop, where your stuff is on this side, pushing against the laptop, if you have hard things in there, your laptop's not totally protected. So you just gotta be aware of how you're packing it. Speaking of how you're packing it, this is basically the big idea on this bag. Access to the main compartment with this little beaver tail like this. You've got those two tenderloins right on top of that and one of like basically the most useful functional pockets in the whole bag. It's surprisingly easy to open this up and get into that. Even when you only open it, I did this often where I had these great zippers, by the way, holy crap. Great zipper pulls with these, uh, with the, this, I don't know, just like loopy doopy stuff. I'm constantly ripping and pulling this zipper. Sometimes this rain flap has gotten stuck in the zipper, but it's been easy to pull it right back out. That rain flap is pretty uh, exaggerated just to make sure that none of that water comes in when you don't want it to, right? But opening this like this and just being able to reach in, that has worked surprisingly well. Which, by the way, this is where I stored a lot of my, of my techie stuff, right? Hard drive, chargers, notebooks, a lot of that stuff just goes right in here, fairly unorganized, but easy enough to find. And if I need to, I drop the bag down and open this all the way up, and then I have access to like, visually sorting through all of this. Got a few different notebooks, some gummies, some hard drives, charger. This is kind of cool. This is the owner's manual for this. This bag comes with an owner's manual. Lots of, lots of things to read in here, lots of features. Charger and parking spot and some pens and the gate coach to, to a hotel that <laughs> I wasn't staying at, but they still let me swim in the pool. Thanks. Okay, so techie and expandable. Techie, all of this is pretty outdoorsy. Laptop and quick access, that's pretty techie. And then water bottle pockets actually work quite well. Even for my 32 ounce Owala, really nice mesh here. This is a bit tight for this size of water bottle. A big Nalgene, I don't think is, is fitting very well, but I think it actually will fit. By the way, that techiness also expands to the sort of outdoorsy world techiness where you have lash straps for trekking poles and ice sticks and all sorts of like technical requirements you might have. Lots of stuff to, that you can lash from on this bag. Uh, and, and it just, and obviously like has that kind of like old school alpinist kind of vibe, but massively like Elon Musk. And then of course, as you can tell from the looks, it's, it's roll top, it's expandable. You get some extra liters, which this is why I traveled with this bag. I went to Bozeman with the packed team for a few days and I needed something that was gonna fit under the seat in front of me because I was flying Southwest. And boy, am I glad that that's what I went with. Something that could fit under the seat in front of me. But I also needed it to fit my clothes and camera gear. This is not a camera bag. I'll show you how I packed it out in just a moment. And when I came back, I had more stuff than when I left because I got some gifts for my kids, right? I love that expandability that helped me. It saved my bacon here. And the fact that I could slide it under the seat in front of me on the airplane absolutely saved my bacon. Holy shit. I did not get home till 3 a.m. last night because, when it, listen, the rule of thumb is if you can avoid it, never take a layover in Las Vegas. A couple notes on this uh, expansion here. One little interesting thing for me is these two buckles do not clip together. So you can't just like ruck it around and clip it together really quick like I see on a lot of roll top bags. I kind of wish that they did that. Number two, your, uh, your strap kind of comes, you see this little like ear right here? It comes up from there, then you can like pull it really like you can just this is one of the things that feels great is just like ripping this down and, and compressing everything on the back then you've got this little d-ring that just expands it right out so this actually moves really smooth and good and it's never come out 
It's never come out when I didn't want it to, like on its own. That's kind of nice. The thing that surprises me about this not clipping together is I'm imagining that there has to be a reason why. The guy who designs and makes these bags is, a, is like a solo, radical, fascinating gangster in the Bay Area who just gets super, super fussy about how he wants his stuff to be and makes very high quality stuff. So I'll bet you he has some sort of philosophy or theology around why not to do that or why this doesn't do that. If that was something that he is just like, huh, that's actually true, I would be very surprised. It's also within the realm of possibilities that he's like, in the next version, you're gonna see these clipping together because I actually like to do that. I prefer to do that. I don't know why, but sometimes finding those straps and coming back down is just like a whole other, I'm just quickly, oh, with a roll top, I basically, I'm never accessing it through this, especially on this bag. I'm always accessing it through this because that's the whole conceit of this bag. That's the brilliance of it. It's like those boots that have, uh, you know, laces that go all the way up, you know, to the bottom, to like the middle of your shins, but then they have a zipper on the side. It's like, oh, I'll just take it off with the zipper. So in use, I do not use this except for to pack the bag and unpack the bag. Once I'm in transit, I'm almost never opening this thing up. But it is kind of nice when you have more like a stuffed animal to shove in here that you saw at the airport like gift shop to just throw in there and then compress it down. Okay, second to last segment here is the tightness. The tightness, and I noticed that so much getting into this pocket when the bag was packed out. This is where my laptop is. I also had my tablet right in here, which I, you'll see when I, it's gonna be up here when, because of how I packed it when I, was, when I was getting to the car. This was not easy to get stuff in and out of when I was packed out, okay? Because I was pretty tight. And all of that strain is going on this zipper. Ripping this right here feels not good. I did not like the feeling of this. If you have a smaller laptop or if you're not planning on taking a laptop, this whole thing is, in, is incredible. If you have a laptop, you need to be thinking about how soft you can pack everything in front of your laptop because there's no padding or protection in there. I'm gonna show you this once I unpack everything. It's just a very, very like simple like kind of mesh like this, this is using on the outside here. So you wanna have soft stuff against your laptop and then it's like if your bag is packed and you're really tightly putting it together, one of the benefits of this is you can really shove a lot of stuff in and then compress it, but then accessing that laptop or tablet when you're in transit is a bit of a bitch. Okay, so this is what I refer to as the tightness on this bag as I traveled with it. I also noticed the tightness in this quick access pocket, which is great because it's huge, it's wide. You got a nice just simple, simple mesh in here that doesn't, feel too fancy, but also like it's dry and it's not like tacky or sticky. However, it's just smushed between everything in here. So getting down, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another like emergency packet in there or something just because I can't access all of it. It's nice and wide though. I like the size of this. Everything on this bag gets better when you are not seriously packed out. If you're thinking of this for an everyday bag where you're not like, packing it out like crazy. You're just like, you have the ability to ex expand if you want to, throw another, throw your big puffy jacket in there. You have a lunchbox and laptop and, and everything's just kind of fumbling around in there. This works so much better than when you are loaded for bear and packed out. However, the, the X-Pack, the durability, the like external access when you're in transit, the water bottle pockets, the harness system, all of that, makes it a really good bag for being super loaded for bear and going hardcore into, into something. Okay, this is my final point. My final point is this is an epic do everything bag. You've got a ton of reliability in the structure of this bag, except for that one laptop zipper. I'll, I'll bet this is the first thing that breaks. I will bet. All of that tension is coming on this zipper. And it is a strong ass zipper and it is also water sealed. However, when I'm ripping that 
trying to close the fi final thing is my laptop. I'm trying to close that. Oh, I did not like that. That's your one single point of, of worry for, for the, like, the durability of this bag for me. Everything else is like, dude, this is a 50-year bag. It's going to last so long. Stuff's rep like re repairable on it. Um, there's, uh, by the way, there's a black version as well. I'm not crazy about this color. It's, a, it's like too high contrast. You know, the black to the, to the white silver. The black version of this bag is actually slightly heavier. I already felt like uh, if I was going to do outdoorsy, serious outdoorsy thing, I'd be going for Z-Packs or Hyperlite and go for just an ultralight bag, which if you don't know about them and you do outdoorsy stuff, check that out because that'll change your whole life. But this does the urban stuff much better than that. Like I said, techie. You have the expandability. You have the durability. It's not too terribly heavy, but you can just survive everything in one bag. You want to do traveling with it? Cool, you can do it. You're still going to deal with the tightness. I just did. It's fine. I'm fine. Once I got to where I'm going, the packing cubes come out, right? And now it's just like a regular bag with my camera in it. However, you do notice the tightness. That's the one sticky point on this bag. Other than that, it's one of the most solid do-everything bags out there. From a really rad company too. Just like super geeky, nerdy. I mean, this is almost guaranteed to like sell out. If it is, if it hasn't already. They used to, I used to have people emailing me about these bags. Hey man, could, will you sell me your thing? <laughs> so these are like collector's editions. And for good reason. They're, they're really, really rad. Okay, let me show you how else I've got this packed out. Daddy got himself some, some sweets. Got some gifts for my my kids, a candle for my daughter, and this Steve Ranella Wilderness Survival book for my son. I hope he reads it and teaches me some shit. I want to learn how to survive in the wilderness. And I like Steve Ranella. Do you watch Meat Eater? I watch Meat Eater with my kids when it's like, I don't want us to watch screens, but I'm exhausted. Okay, we're going to learn about the outdoors. I've got a Western Rise sort of like a shirt jacket. This is, this is just packs down pretty small, but it's super... Super insulated and feels great. I did not need this in Bozeman. Got a hat and my gravel little mini toiletry. I've got my iPad Pro, which I absolutely lived off of. Thank God I downloaded so much, you know, <laughs> Rick and Morty and movies from HBO Max. Then this is my uh, boundary supply. They do not make this anymore as far as I know. But I find myself putting this into lots of bags. Originally, this was down at the bottom of the bag and it fit great. It's just that I had my packing cube on top of that. So whenever I needed to get stuff out, I had to like pull stuff out. The packing cube that I'm using here was actually from that most recent gravel domestic duffel video, which works pretty great. I changed the shape that I wanted this to take based on how I put my clothes together. Because when I switched it, to be in the bottom, I needed it to be more of a fat brick like this. And then my Shama sandals, which I will be retiring soon with, these were incredible. Holy shit, Bozeman, Montana. I got my Schnee's hat on. Bozeman was incredible. I do have to say though, because I had great tour guides and, I, and they took me to just the best shit to do. I mean, it was like, we were just like, oh, we're not, not too far from my house. We'll just go up this little hike. And you hike to this insane, mountaintop down into this lake that is emerald green. <sighs> Bozeman, you son of a bitch. Okay, you can see here, here's what we've got in terms of the padding or protection on the top of our laptop. Laptop goes right in here. One of the benefits here is you have access to that laptop from the top, through the roll top, or from the side. Radical stuff. However, I would recommend to my homie at remote equipment to to get a more I want I want the laptop to have its own I want the laptop to have its own dimension on an everyday carry perspective like like point of view it's going to be fine 99% of the time it's that travel when you're packed out and you're really ripping and putting a bunch of stuff in there that's when I that's when I worry about it you can see this weave in here or this this like this is that X pack which has just super, this is one of the strongest materials in the world. It's very, it's like lightweight and super strong. The bag itself is surprisingly lightweight. 
it feels burlier than the heft of it. Does that make sense? Like it feels really like, oh, that bear's gonna be like eight pounds. And then you lift it up and you're a little bit like, weird. I thought it'd be way heavier than that. In case it wasn't clear before, these hip straps do come right off. And final note here, there's a handle right on the front top of the bag as well as the back top of the bag. And I can't tell you how much use I got out of that. Uh, the handle itself, just folded in webbing, done really well. Uh, I like I like this kind of thing. This thing's burly and incredible. The remote equipment Alpha 31, I believe this is like the version two of the second production they're calling it. Such a well-designed bag for doing lots of different stuff in lots of different environments, right? Mixing the whole urban with the outdoors world is traditionally very challenging. I think to do to do very well. I think there's parts of this that it does really really well. There's other parts not not so well, like laptop pocket, right? But I, you know, you're if you're a fucking gangster like built up Tacoma truck kind of, you know, everything in its right space, crazy, interesting, you know, probably lonely, probably dude, but like you know, you have a lot of opinions on like your gear and and your your persnickety on all that stuff. Like you're gonna love this bag. This thing is fucking awesome. And you might be totally different than that and and still love this bag. So, anyways, shout out to the team at Remote Equipment for doing a great job. This is gonna get a lot of people through a lot of expeditions. Any questions you have, ask in the comments below. And uh, I guess that's. I guess that's where we'll end it. Bye-bye.